Okay, hello guys, welcome to today's video. First off, I wanna say thank you so much for your support on my latest final Light Up The World Tour series video. Thank you so much, it was a very strenuous tour and I really appreciate all your, all your support. But on to today's video, I had this great conversation with some teenage guys the other day at a cube. I just thought I'd upload it because it was uh, really cool how it sort of ended and he come to this really impactful realization. Thank you so much again for your support. Leave your comments down below what you think of this video. Sorry for the shaky camera work. It does get better. This was this uh, guy's first day on the camera, so he's a little bit shaky, but it's a really good conversation. And let us know down below what you think. Speak to you all soon, and peace. Yeah, brother. How you going, mate? Hey, man. How you doing, bro? So, you come and have a look at the screen here. Yeah. So, do you know anything about the dairy industry? Um, I know that the... I don't know much, no. Do you consume dairy products? Yeah. Yogurt, chocolate, milk? Okay. Do you know the process? Have you ever thought about the process? Uh, yeah, of course. Of course I have. Why do cows produce milk? Um, for their kids, isn't it? For their calves. For their calves, yeah. yeah. So if we're consuming the milk, where do the calves go? They die. They, get, they die or they get killed? They get killed, I guess. Yes. Yeah, so the males don't the produce veal. milk. So they go to veal, yeah, or they just get killed or raised for beef and then killed. The females get forcibly impregnated, have their calves taken away, and then they, they milk them as well. Yeah. And when they stop producing milk, what do they do with those cows? Kill them. They kill them. Yeah. And they put them in burgers. So what do you think about that? Well, no, like, I've, obviously I've thought about all this stuff. Before. You thought about it? I'm a guy who eats meat, right? So it's like, you know, I can't afford to go vegan. Can't afford to? Okay, no. so you're a guy that eats meat and you can't afford to go vegan? Yeah. It's like, but then you said, what can I do? That's what I mean. I'm like, I'm kind of helpless. At okay. So, vegan is, do you think being vegan is more expensive? Um, yeah, personally, but... In what like, way? Just like, if, if you look at supplements, right, so a lot of protein, like, um, like synthetic proteins are... Do you think you need to take protein supplements to be vegan? No, but in my diet, I like to take a lot of uh, protein in, so it's like, oh, I so, want, yeah. I want that's best for me, right, and then also if I'm helping other people as well, that's cool. So, do, do you don't think this is justified to do this to animals so we I can have dairy products? Like all the years, though. Yeah, yeah, it's been happening for a, a long time, yeah. Do you think it's okay? Life, though, it? you think <laughs> Are you a yeah. vegan by any chance? Well, I've been vegan for six years. Yeah. I do weights and I get in about 150 grams of protein a day. Oh, that's it's cheaper if you uh, shop for the, the cheaper foods, the rice, beans, potatoes, legumes. Yeah. Uh, you know, the mock meats and stuff can be a bit pricier, but you know, soy milk's what? It's a pound for a carton of soy milk. Do you think because we've been doing something for a long time that justifies to continue doing it or like? Yeah, I, I just think it's like. So things that are traditional are therefore justified now because we've always done them. Like even if it's an immoral thing like animal abuse or cruelty. It's just kind of life though. It's life? Yeah. If it's, yeah, but it's murder is part of life, does that mean we should con contribute to it or? Well, if you look at like, like back in the caveman days before like agriculture. Yeah. Literally yeah, humans I, had no yeah. other choice. I like, yeah. I think killing That's animals true. is justified as long as they're Back like, then? What is it the fact as long that we have brought up well. What about now? I still think it's justified. Like cavemen, do, do cavemen's ethics apply now? Um, not necessarily, but we still need to like, say everyone ate plant, plant based proteins. And yeah. Vegan. Yeah. Like there's still like a huge market that would go out the window. And that's good. Do you think that's bad? Uh, yeah, I think like, because when other, oh, when cruel markets, uh, you know, ended, yeah. it makes the way for more ethical markets, doesn't it? Of course, but there needs to be like a, rather than just a big, which rather than like a slow process. I, it I will think be. that's happening, I can see that's happening Do you think already. it's gonna be like, we're gonna go vegan tomorrow? Everyone and no. seven billion people? I so it's think, gonna be a process. I still think there is like, from um, research I've done, I feel like, so I, you might have heard a Joe Rogan podcast. I've heard his, his position oh, yeah. on veganism, yeah, yeah. I don't agree with, but no, no, yeah. It's not personally him, but when the, they're, they're talking, they, they, he has MMA fighters on, right? And they, yeah. so they have like trained professionals, right? And yeah. So he's talking about, so I'm one of them was vegan. This guy wasn't vegan for a long time. But what happened was his body literally couldn't eat like loads of information. And it was something, I can't remember exactly. Well, that's an anecdote. Was. Do you know what an anecdote is? Blame. An anecdote is someone's personal experience. Yeah. It's not based on any scientific research. So I, I, anecdotally, like I feel better than I ever have. I'm stronger yeah. than I've ever been. And there's many other anecdotes of uh, vegan bodybuilders who are strong and athletes who are you know, very agile and recover better. Um, when you look at the research, the science, you look at peer-reviewed science and vegans do better in when it comes to all-cause mortality, chronic disease, cancer, diabetes, uh, we've got a lower BMI. Process, 
we, you can reverse heart disease with a whole foods plant-based diet. So we do, in the scientific yeah, realm, I've heard we of, do. Like, it's, I'm just curious to see what you guys are doing, you know? I, I respect Let's it, just know? say, well, you, you, don't, you don't respect an, animals being abused, do you? Like, um, could, do we agree think, with that? Uh, yeah, 100%. I think okay. they should be, still should be um, used for me, like killed, as long as they're brought up the right way. And it's just like a like a bullet in the head, you know, like oof, something that's quick, you know, rather than. Do you agree yeah. with that as a form of ethics, like a bullet in the head? Do you think that's ethical? The only thing it reminds me of is like the Lenny and George drink from Vice Men. What's that? Vice Men. It's basically right. Um, back in the day, it was like this autistic guy called Lenny, and. Um, Oh, I know you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he like turned him around, and um, yeah. he, he, he he's very heavy-handed. He like killed a woman or something. Yeah, he had to die. Do you think a bullet in the head is ethical? Um, not necessarily a bullet. But anything. Uh, it's just quick. It's like, boom, like, they're gone. like, do you think it's ethical to shoot an animal in the head for to to rip the flesh off of their bones if there's no real necessity for that? But at the moment in time, there is a necessity for that because people still want to eat meat. You know, but they want. But it. just because you want to, do you feel like that's a need? Well, personally, like... Because I'm standing right here doing a five, six year vegan. Yeah, yeah, of course, personally, I'm, I'm like, happy with the... I'm, I'm happy to try... I'll, there's something I want to do is try vegan, you know? Yeah. Try it, at least, you know, and then see how it is. And because it, 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 it sort of conflicts with your... Like, I wouldn't say anyone here supports animal cruelty. Like, in your moral sort of framework. Like, yeah, I love animal cruelty. Yeah, yeah, like, who says that? Like, only really... Like, have yeah. you seen that happen to dairy cows? Look, they tear the, the calf out, yeah. separate babies, kill all the animals mutilate them you know and who really is for that but when you go into the supermarket and you buy dairy guess what you're supporting yeah well that like you, you who's whose money funds this ours yeah so so by virtue of your finances you're supporting something that you're yeah. morally against no like I, like again like, i understand it it's like but personally i just think like cows should be they could like it's something that we, we've done for a long time, right? And obviously you slavery. Made a, you made a good point. So, same with slavery. That but was I mean, traditional. It was back in the day, like back in caveman days. You don't have another. You don't have an option, right? So it's like it's ingrained in our DNA. Okay. And we've we've only been around for like advanced civilization. Advanced we murdered civilization. each other back then in caveman. Like Did we murder out. each other back then as well? We do matter each other now. We still do. But is it justified morally? I'm saying well, no, cavemen did things that are, that were evil. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't no. say that. I'd say they're just trying to survive. You know, okay. humans well, are survival. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Personally, oh, right. what I believe is humans are all naturally like kind to each other. It's just like we can get taken over by our brain. You know, if we yeah, like, your urges and your pleasure response and your consumption, yeah. people are just mindly, mindlessly consuming without knowing the repercussions of it. Mm. All oh, the, what I was trying to say to you is, you're, so you're using cavemen, right? Yeah. Cavemen raped and killed each other. They did. They murdered each other. They did what they had to do to survive. They had no real. They didn't have the same ethical framework we adhere to in this society, you know. So, like, just because cavemen did some things, yeah. do you think that justifies our actions now? Of course not. But that's, no, not that, everything. No. That goes in with my point of they shouldn't well, be anything. treated like this. But they should, like, it should, if, it's, if they're going to be killed, it should be like a quick death. If they got, if I was going to kill you, I'd, I wouldn't want to torture you first. Of course. And not. if you're going to kill me, I, I'd hope you would extend the same. You of know, you wouldn't not. drag it home for t two or three days. Well, we don't need to kill each other. Neither. I see. I see. Thank exactly you very much, Bob. You've just answered question. your question. Like, do we need to do this to them? No. I was just. Anyway, we I only came over to see what you guys are doing. We, I, I, I think we had a great conversation. Yeah, I think you know, insightful. you you sort of answered it for me there. Yeah. You don't need to kill me. We don't need to kill cows. We don't need to torture them either. We don't need to bullet them in the head. But if we had to, it would be a different story. If you had to kill me. It's a survival situation, bro. Like, you know, people do weird things in survival. We eat each other in survival situations when planes crash, and yeah. we do lots of weird things when you have to. Just uh, when you're at the supermarket, do you have to grab the dairy or you, can you grab the almond milk, soy milk, oat milk? No, I feel, man. Anyway, it was nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you, brother. Here. I'm Billy, by the way. Billy? Yeah. I'm Joey. Good nice to meet you, Billy. Though. You Australian? Yeah, yeah mate. Job. Yeah. <laughs> Challenge 22. And here you go, there's some um, documentaries. Watch Land of Hope and Glory. It was filmed in the UK, it's all recent, and it's yeah. all of this. Watch it through and go, is this morally justified for a burger? I don't know. Okay. Anyway, nice Cheers, brother. Have a, have a great day. You too, mate.